What was your response and your feeling about being asked to be involved in the Kathleen Folby case in this way? I focused on what I could actually contribute as an expert, and that is on what was the critical issue about the diaries. And the critical issue was that they had a plain, singular, damning meaning. That is, they were a virtual confession. And the issue for me was really that I couldn't be certain, and I can't see why other people are so certain. Was it the way you would expect diaries or, or evidence to be used in an inquiry that was meant to explore the evidence that had been used at trial against Kathleen Folbig? My sense of the way the, the diaries were used was that the use was inimical or unfair to Kathleen Folby in this case and would have been unfair to anybody. I think it's as though, well, we've got to nail her on these, these diaries. So it was as though by contesting the way Kathleen Folby used words, she could be presented as unreliable and in some sense not in control and not really... Uh, well, I think they use the word obfuscate as well, that she's obfuscating about what she meant. But, of course, <laughs> it's a weird accusation to say, well, I'll tell you what you really meant. I'll tell you what you really thought. If you use the word lose it, if you, you're losing it, you can actually uh, lose it over being very angry or being full of laughter. And it doesn't imply the necessity of you therefore go and hit someone. The contest in the questioning is, OK, to lose it means you must have done something to the baby. Her claim is, no, I can... I, sometimes, I, in one case, at least she reports, she walked away. OK, she walked away and left the baby. I think even if someone confesses in writing with lots of what they did and when they did it, and how it went about, how it formed in their mind. You as a police officer or as a prosecutor or as a lawyer of any kind would still want to test it. They're making this up. We don't have that kind of document here at all. It worries me a great deal that so much pressure has been put on the diaries as unambiguous evidence of guilt. So you're saying there was a lot of cherry-picking that went on? Well, inevitably, you've got to select. And I think that in various points in the inquiry in 2019, Kathleen Folbig's emphasis on what she meant, and she was tackled on every, every meaning, and what the, what the prosecution is trying to do there is to go from anger and losing it to actually a behaviour, that you acted on the baby, not just that you were angry. But does it, in your opinion, rule out her killing her children? I would not go to say what the totality means. If you'd said to me, can you give me all the meanings of the diaries? I would have said, it'll take me months. So in a sense, they're putting a singular meaning on what could be a confluence, a coming together of many factors in that woman's life. I'm not saying that their reading is impossible and I'm not saying that it's totally unreasonable. What I am saying is it does not seem safe to me to presume that there's only one meaning and that that meaning is consistent for the deaths of four children that died in quite different circumstances. Doesn't speak to her guilt. Well, as I say, if you start out with the presumption of guilt, you can find it if you like. Hello, I'm Tara Brown. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our Extra Minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on 9now.com.au and the 9Now app.